Hi friends, this is Bijou Baker. I'm Maria. Today I'm feeling kind of cool, kind of hip, kind of wow. Very groovy, very 60s kind of vibe going. Whatever Maria, just fake. Okay, all right. Day number seven of the 12 days of Christmas cookie swap. Well, it's not a swap. It's just, I mean, do what you want with these cookies. But if you're doing a swap, these are great cookies. This is a brookie cookie, half brownie, half chocolate chip cookie, all yumminess. You can do this in, in a pan. See, a lot of times I'm giving you bars. I want to give you as many options as you can. And the reason I'm, I give bars, <clears throat> because if you have, I don't know, let's say six ladies in the kitchen and you're all making six different kinds of cookies, whatever number you got, if they're all cookies, you got to have a lot of cookie sheets. Um, I could cover it, but even barely. I mean, I got tons, but you need a lot of cookie sheets. So while some are using the cookie sheets, we'll use the um, baking pans to get something else out. There? There. Okay, so let's see. This one's fun. Now, it, it's going to seem intimidating because we're making two entire recipes together. And they are. They're two completely separate recipes, but they're going to come together united. <sighs> For goodness. First things first are dry ingredients. They all get sifted and um, mixed up together. That's always the thing. When you're making cookies, if you don't know this, not just cookies, but when you're baking, you kind of always make a pattern for how you do things. Almost always, the recipe is going to say combine your dry ingredients and then work on your white ingredients and then make them together. That's so already know to combine your dry ingredients. Um, I'm going to sift them. Okay, all right. I'm going to sift them because I know I have to sift the cocoa powder for the brownies. So since I already got the sifter out, let me just go ahead and do it all. But otherwise, I would just use a whisk and kind of mix them together. But the cocoa powder has chunks and I don't want chunks, especially of cocoa powder. Not a good taste. All right, so I've got the flour, baking soda, or baking powder I mean, cornstarch, and salt. And this, this really, I could just, I could just leave it, but like I said, since I got the stuff out, let me just, but you don't have to. You get this part. You know, it really is so much nicer <laughs> to work with sifted flour. All right, she's done. I'm gonna put this parchment aside for the brownie. You know about my mise en place, things in place. That's my absolute, absolute. Um, I have brown sugar and I have white sugar. Now, I did my mise en place a couple hours ago, so there's no way I'm gonna leave this brown sugar open. It'll get hard and the top won't be usable. Well, for this. So I put plastic on and I just really tuck, tuck it against the sugar and then just wrap it so it's good to go. That's, that's all. I just kind of wanted you to know that. So the content, you know, the recipe for this, both of them are going to, they're not equal, I mean, they're equal parts, but usually I like to keep the measurements very basic. So I really strive to get like one cup or one three quarters of a cup or two cups or whatever, but this is not, it didn't work out like that for this recipe. And I've tried it with even um, portions it just didn't work out. So this is uh, one stick and two tablespoons. You see what I'm saying? So it's not, but it's, this is good. This is good. So we're just going to cream this with, um, going to cream this and add the sugars and make them nice and pretty. Side note, so you saw me break apart that clump of sugar. 
um, that just makes it spread evenly without the rotors kind of catching up. So <clears throat> one egg at a time. And you know, the, you know, you're probably saying, why do they always do that? Because you're watching it incorporate. You can put them both in. I mean, don't worry so much about the small details like that. That part doesn't matter so much. But if, if it does, um, I would tell you. I would tell you when it really does, because sometimes it might. So one at a time and then mix. the beaters and I wanted to just mix this by hand to make sure that any bits of flour underneath would be incorporated. And I'm going to add chocolate chips. Now I'm using the mini chocolate chips only because I happen to have them. If you don't have them, don't go out and bother um, buying them. Just use the regular chocolate chips. But uh, if you do the same for, I'm also going to add some mini chocolate chips in the brownies themselves. So um, we want to make sure that the sizes are the same. So. I'll use mini chocolate chips in the brownie mix as well. And like I said, if you don't have, my goodness, if you don't have that, just use the same size chips for the other. This is a stiff dough, which is really good. All right, I'm going to wrap this and we're going to make the brownies. On to the brownies. I'm mixing my flour. Baking, I'm missing something. Oh, I had my baking powder and my cornstarch in there. Salt and cocoa powder. And this gets put together. There's not a lot of uh, flour in this. But look at that, that's what we don't want. So we're gonna smush them. They break very easy, they're just I haven't used them in a while. Note to self. Okay. Now this is in a good place, you know? Until I actually do this again, I forget how much I love the look of sifted flour. <laughs> and you can do this one of two ways. You can do it on um, the stove or in the microwave. You're going to just melt the butter and the chips together. And it's going to be really creamy, chocolatey goodness. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave a few seconds at a time and just keep mixing it until there are no lumps and no chunks. And it's all really beautiful and mixed together. I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Um, I'm gonna put this batter in a dish, and I'm gonna chill it. I need it to get hard and firm. I'm gonna roll the others, uh, the cookies, in balls, and let them chill as well.
Once the brownie dough gets a little firm, I'm going to scoop it up, put it on a tray, and let it get firmer in the refrigerator again. I just, just don't want to miss, I don't want it to get so stiff that it's hard to work with. All right. You've got all the hard part. Now the fun part comes, and it's kind of weird, but um, we're gonna take these balls, both the chips and the chocolate cookie and the brownie. And remember, these are not these are not uh, chocolate cookies. They're actual brownies, so they're gonna be a little bit different. So I take a ball, and I'm gonna split them in half. Each half is gonna get its mate, and then I'm gonna roll it like that and that goes on a cookie sheet. So I'm just telling you what I did, now we're just gonna watch, watch it happen. So once they're on the cookie tray, I'm gonna, is my my favorite thing about cookies to make them all even and bake evenly is I'm going to flatten them with the bottom of a heavy bottom glass and just a tight a little scorch. This will give you an even bake. They go into a 350 oven for about 15 minutes. When you're putting them together, you wanna, you, I mean, they're obviously not gonna fit, but you kinda wanna squidge a little bit. Not too much, but you, want, you wanna make them hit pretty well so that they stick. Because if you, if you don't and you just put them there, they're gonna bake wonky. We don't want a wonky cookie. And then when you place them down, you're going to place them down just like this, half on half on half, not not upside down or, you know, you could, but I mean, we want we want to see what we're making, so that's why. Are these beautiful or what? Uh adjustment on the time, 12 minutes instead of 15. Uh they got they they would get too dark and I still like a chewy cookie. So this is just soft but not undone. So these are gonna cool and I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> the great thing about this cookie is that it makes so many. You're taking two whole cookie, well, I'm gonna call the brownie a cookie batch. They're not cookies, they're not chocolate cookies. And, and you can tell when you, when you bite them. So you're taking two recipes, which already makes a pretty good amount, and then you're cutting them in half and doubling it. So you got plenty to share. And there is nothing. There are very few things as good as a fresh cookie out of the oven. Yum. This one doesn't have a lot of chocolate chips, but I'm okay with that. Cookie and a brownie in every bite. You can definitely taste a brownie. It's not, it's, it's not a, what is that taste? It's distinct. So when you fold it. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. I like these because the outside has just a little crispiness. And the insides are chewy. This is a winner. Christmas time or not, this is a winner. What do you think? Are you guys enjoying this series? I am. I, I am having a lot of fun with it.
in the very beginning, I said I wanted to do one a day, but in reality, it wasn't going to happen. I still have life to deal with and things to deal with and responsibilities. So if there's a day or two in between, that's why. I'll always get back to you, though. We will finish 12. Okay, number seven, down, check. All right, my friends, until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.